Hi, my name is Ali Shersava from Bridget Digital and in this short video we are going to talk about common bond noise and differential mode noise, why we have to stop them and how we do that. So let us look at differential mode currents first. Um, we are used to dealing with differential mode currents because that is what we study from the school level physics up to university. And it's the standard type of current that basically flows in that way and comes back this way. For an example of a power supply, let's say for simplicity a buck converter, what you have here, as you can see, a current that is going in that looks like so, going in on the line and on the return, it would look the opposite. And we are used to dealing with it all the time. The problem with power supplies in particular is that these edges are extremely sharp. And when you have very sharp edges, um, you um, have got very high harmonic content. And this could cause an enormous amount of problems and that's why various regulations, in particular European Union's EMC directive, stops us from having such amount of harmonics. And we'll have to filter that. So, a standard way of filtering a current, uh, differential mode current, is a bit of differential mode filter, whereby you have got a standard filter, like so, and we're going to talk about this in a, in a different video. The next type of current that we've got is a common mode current. Now that one is a little harder to visualize, mainly because we don't really talk about it very much at a school or university. You only come to realize it afterwards uh, when, you, when you start dealing with designing electronic circuitry. Now imagine that I have got the same buck converter and for simplicity let's say that I have soldered 150 picofarad capacitor between the body of the buck converter down to the chassis of the product. So I've got a little bit of capacitance between the plug converter and the chassis. I call this protective earth. Now, now imagine I get a mobile phone and I put my mobile phone on top of the, the two cables going in to the power supply, so both line and return. The radiated emissions from the mobile phone will couple with these two cables and will, will flow through this capacitor and back down to protective earth. If your uh, um, frequency, which, which was coupling into this, was let's say 150 kilohertz, the impedance of this will be quite large. If it's about 30 megahertz, which is top of the conductive emissions band, the, 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 the impedance of this will be not that big. It will be probably around 100 ohms. And that means that currents can flow in both in the same direction down these two, go down in the following path. So, so you can go down here, through here, returns, it was like so, and the second one down here, through here, and like so. Okay? And these are common mode currents. The currents that, that couple via some capacitance between the body and the chassis and then return. The problem with these is that this loop is actually much larger and therefore they may have conducted ant emissions tests, uh, uh, failures uh, when you go to the EMC test chamber. Now, I gave an example of a mobile phone coupling with the two lines. It doesn't necessarily have to be that. In reality, inside of the buck converter you have got a switch. The switch is turning on and off at a very high rate. So you've got high DVDT and high DIDT. So consider now that the switch inside of the buck converter is turning on and off and that is the noise that is coupling with these lines. Nothing changes, you still have noise and imagine that instead of the 50 picofarad capacitor that I had soldered onto the board in order to demonstrate earlier on, you now have got a plate here, you've got another plate underneath and in between you've got an insulator. Let's call that a dielectric. So you still have some amount of capacitance and exactly the same thing happens. The high DVDT and the high DIDT that is inside of the power supply will couple through this um, capacitor and then you end up with again currents flowing in exactly the same way like so and like so and these are our common mode currents. And of course again because of regu regulations we have to stop these uh, otherwise we cannot sell our product and we do that with a common mode filter which again we will discuss in another video.